it's kind of weird. I mean, the, the Nasdaq is having a garden variety kind of modest down day, barely down 1%. Uh, and, and it's not tech names on the Dow that are really suffering the most. What, what's prompting your action here and what's your explanation? Yeah, so uh, those those sales were actually last week, so it's not today. Um, but basically what we were looking at is it's really been a tale of two markets. And so you have to go back to like June 8th, where from June 8th, if you look at what the market's done, the s and is up 2% since then. But the Russell 2000 has actually fallen 8%. And if you look within that, things like the energy sector, materials, financials, that really led the way up, those were down a lot. What's powered the market has really been the what I call Ma Fang. So Microsoft and Apple plus the traditional Fang stocks. Those names are up 10% since June 8th. They were only up 9% coming into it. So, you know, you've really had underneath this surface a lot of deterioration if you look at the broader market defined as the Russell 2000. And what prompted us to get rid of our uh, or hedge out our entire our Facebook position and get out of Google is if you're really worried about the economy slowing down again with the 10 year treasury yield going from you know 1.5% to today is at 1.2%, then Google, Facebook in particular are reopening plays. They get advertising from you know the airlines and the hotels, the malls, all those sectors have gotten killed. These two stocks have kept going up. And then in addition to that, you obviously have the IDFA stuff from, from Apple that's affecting, you know, advertising dollars, et cetera. And they were up a ton coming in. Hmm. That's why we, you know, took some took some profits in that because we're like, that doesn't really make sense. If all the reopening stocks are down, the guys that benefit from reopening and tech side are up, there's probably a little bit of catch up that needs to be happened there. So that's why we, you know, did what we did last week. Dan, do you have a reopening head fake play or a reopening uh, not so fast strategy? Because it seems like what Zoom is doing is um, buying five nine, which, which sort of plays either way. It's it's customer service software that allows uh, those folks to work from anywhere, but it's also deeper in the enterprise, which is going to need to connect with consumers whether they're in person, uh, whether they're digital. It's sort of an omni-channel strategy. H how do you play this if you're an investor looking to uh, benefit whether we're really fully reopening or not? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's tricky because the, the backdrop to all of this is valuations are incredibly high. So if you think about it, you know, last year the S&P is up 16%. Coming into today, the S&P was up 15%. Looking at the stock market, you never know we're in a pandemic because the Fed has increased their balance sheet to over $8 trillion. It was up 77% last year. It's up high teens uh, so far year over year right now. And so that's really distorted valuations across the board for everything. So if we're looking at reopening, we're not looking at the text, the tech names from here. What we're looking at more is things like energy or financials or materials. Those sectors have gotten absolutely destroyed from you know June 8th. They were the strong, some of the strongest sectors going into that. We're looking at a lot of those names more on the reopening side to play. On the tech side, what we're looking at is okay, last year, you know, I bought a new iPad, I bought a new Mac, I, you know, I upgraded the tech in the, in the home because everybody's working from home. My kids are home from college, studying from home. What I'm looking at more on the tech side is more enterprise-oriented play. So I think our largest position right now is actually Cisco, for example, um, you know, because we look at that and say very little consumer, lots of enterprise. If you believe we're going to go through the winter, you know, and then things will start to calm down again and then you know, people are going to be part time back in the office. That'll benefit more of the pure enterprise plays versus those that are a mix of consumer and enterprise. And those enterprise plays like Cisco, I mean, it hasn't grown in like five years. So, yeah. you know, orders were the uh, best in 10 years last quarter. 